how to use time tracking and reporting on ClickUp. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can use and manage the time tracking and reporting within ClickUps. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go to ClickUp.com. Then simply sign in for account. As you can see here, I have a signed in account. Now, after you have set the employee or the assignee or the person that will work with your team, you are going simply to click on projects. When you click on projects, you are going to create a project. Let's say that we have here project number one and project number two. On the project number one, we have the tasks. You can add and create some tasks by simply clicking on add task. Right here, you are going to name that task. Let's go ahead and name it, for example, to do like this. Simply, you can go ahead and make that for a milestone or a task. When you finish this, here we have the email or the assignee. I'm going to select me as a person, click on save. And here, as you can see, the assignee is me. I am online. Now, you can add some assignees. For example, you're going to go ahead and invite them by simply typing their email address. For example, Jack Smith. This is an imaginary email address at, I'm going to put your at gmail address like that dot com. You can invite it by sending uh, the person an invitation. Simply click on invite and set it as a member. Here we have the access or the permissions. You are going to let it here put the full of or you can go ahead and make the options for editing, comment and view only with upgrading to the uh, the plan, unlimited plan like this. This was for the tasks. You can go ahead and select any task that you want and you can see the details on it. For example, in my to do here task, I'm going to click on it and you can see you can go ahead and add a cover for that task. For example, this color. And here we have it. I'm going to change it to this one. This is much softer. We have here the dates and the time estimate. The dates, I'm going to put it right here today. Now, for the estimate time, I'm going simply to type in time two days. Two days, like that. And here it is uh, estimated for 16 hours. I'm going to put it here for 24 hours and let it right there. For the tags, you can add and add some tags. And for the priority, I'm going to put it, for example, as normal or as high. The relationships here, you can go ahead and add it. And here we have the track time. You can add a track time right there and simply go ahead and add the timer. You can go ahead and adjust that time from where it begins and where it ends. For the project, or here or the task, the time estimate is 24 hours. Here, the timer will start from zero until it close up 24 hours. You go here and click on start and it will start counting. Now, we have the assignee, we have the description, the custom fields, and etc. When you finish everything right here from the attachment and the task, you can go ahead and add this column right there and click on plus simply we are going to check for time where where is the time i'm going to put for example let's say here i'm going to put time counter or time tracker it is time tracked and also i can go ahead and add a time estimate for example now we have it when you want to uh, enable that timer click on start timer and it will start counting we have here 24 hour for that task now, you can go ahead and use an app or integrate an app with your navigator, which is connected to ClickUp to see the live uh, screen of the timer. And to do that, all you have to do is to click on your name right there. Simply, we are going to click on apps. When you click on apps here, select app center. And from the app center, we are going simply to use some time tracking like here. Click on time tracking, 
and there we have the tracking that you can see. We have Chrome extension, bring click up with your everywhere with Chrome. Now I'm going simply to choose an app and install it. For example, click on Clockify, install it, and it will appear right there on the Clockify website. I'm going to get it for my Chrome right here. Simply, I'm going to add it right here. Uh, I have remembered that I'm not using Chrome, so I'm going to add it right here within Microsoft Edge. So simply, I'm going to let here the uh, background right here. I'm going to see where's the extension. This is the Clockify timer. Go ahead and sign up with your account. I am going to sign up to my account. Simply, it will be the same account that I have signed in within, uh, as you can see here, uh, click up. I will wait and here we have it. Everything is here uh, made. Here we have the dashboard. You can see and everything. Now, if you don't want to use uh, Clockify, you can go ahead and use the suggested app from the ClickUps. It is up to you also. And finally, when you finish all of these, as you can see here, we have the timer. It has started. Normally with the app, it will be shown up right there and everything will be good. Now, let's say that we are going to add a view for the uh, board. For example, I'm going to use a board right here uh, from a workload. When you add a workload here, you are going to see the uh, workload or the load of uh, tasks that are assigned to your employees or assignee. As you can see here, we have only one assignee and that is me. I have here 24 hours uh, slash 40 of 40 hours. Here we have the overcapacity. It is set for me here for 24 hour and I am normally going to put only eight hours right here. This is the uh, task that I am going to do here. You can go ahead and make this task, for example, six hours, regulate this uh, a job or this capacity right here. Here we have the total changes are automatically set. I'm going to put it right here. This is six hours. Click on here. And as you can see here, the capacity is set to six. Now, we have here the uh, view of the workload. And if you want to add some timesheets, you are going simply to click on timesheets and you will see the task. And here we have the timer and we have the duration of that job. The track time is 2% and the uh, duration is seven minutes. Now, if you want to add a time reporting, it is very simple. Go right here to the dashboards, click on it, and then select simply time tracking. Click on it. And here we are going to create that dashboard specific for time tracking. You can add some cards right here. On these cards, you can go ahead and see some time tracking. And here we have the time reporting, time sheets, billable report, time estimated, and time track. Simply go ahead and click on time reporting. And here we have the name the time range you can put it for example here today and the grouping you can go ahead and add the users and here we have the time tags labels people here everyone i'm going to set me only billable show both for example here we have show billable only non-billable and the filters estimated or estimated times include archived and include subtasks you can add this card and here it will show up the time reports. For example, here we have the estimated and we have the tracked. When you click on it, you can see here the notes. For example, if a the assignee has made a notes or you have made some notes. That was very simple. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.